Okay, so what I'm seeing is I haven't turned on my air terminals and all of my duct accessories. I thought I had, but I was not in the right ones. So I need to be able to see all this stuff. I need to be able to see my mechanical equipment and all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, there they are. I can see them. They look like they're at the right height. So I'm going to come back to my 2Mac. And now I can copy these. And I'll go, not 14 feet, I'll go 13 feet. And then I remember two more of these copied over and then moved a little bit. And then those move down to be in between these other two. There we go. And there is my register layout. Let's see what it looks like in 3D. Yep, there they are. And I always want to check and make sure, yeah, they're off the ground. That's good. They're at a good height. I might even make those a little bit higher. I see these walls are already at 10. Let's see what it looks like when I look at it from this view. So I probably want to raise those up. Okay. I can put those up. They're at 10 feet now. I can put them up at 11 feet from level one. So let me go ahead and do that. It's not too hard. I select them all. And then I say, show me the air terminals. And I say, make them go to 11 feet. And voila, now they are. So that's how you place your air terminals. I don't need to see these detail lines anymore. Hide that category in view. Now, you have to do this for the other zones too. Each zone, if you've got your layout in mind and everything's kind of squared away, each zone should take you maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So less than an hour to model all of these air terminals. There you go.